What if the secret to your sporting success was to do nothing? The truth is, it just might be. Well, the best way to make yourself faster might be to turn off the lights, close your eyes, and go to sleep. Today we look at how you can sleep yourself faster. There are three pillars to athletic performance, exercise, diet, and sleep. Now the first two get a lot of attention, but the third is often overlooked, both in terms of the advice given out to athletes and also in an athlete's own assessment of what they need to do to improve their performance. But it really shouldn't be. Sleep is a vital part of life, and without good sleep, you can't really expect to even be healthy, let alone perform at a high level. Now there are many reasons why people have poor sleep. Often it's poor habits or stress or just lifestyle. Or it could be an undiagnosed sleep disorder. If you constantly have trouble falling asleep at night or wake up frequently during the night, despite trying all the tips we give you at the end of this video, you should probably investigate further whether you might have some sort of sleep disorder. I find I wake up frequently during the night and I've actually diagnosed the disorder. It's called having toddlers. Yeah, apparently the only solution for that is time. But jokes aside, when my kid arrived, I had significantly less sleep and disrupted sleep. And then when my twins arrived less than two years later and I had three kids under two, I was surviving on like one to three hours of sleep a night. And even when I did increase my sleep later on, I was still not getting as much sleep as I was before and my performance suffered as a result. I found it hard to string multiple days of training together and sometimes I found myself losing concentration and lacking motivation halfway through a session. In fact, this has been proved by science. In a study of basketball players who had to take their normal sleep and then enhance it to get a minimum of 10 hours of sleep, their sprint times improved, their reaction times improved, and their shooting accuracy improved by as much as 9%. Now obviously this was boxed where all players are not triathletes, but we can assume similar performance enhancements are going to happen in triathlon. It has actually been shown that elite Olympic athletes tend to have lower sleep total volumes than non-athletes. Now this is presumably because of rigorous schedules and travel and also prioritizing the wrong things where they feel it's more important to wake up early for an extra session or stay up late for stretching and massage rather than getting that extra sleep. But just because the elite athletes don't tend to sleep well, doesn't mean they shouldn't. Good sleep has a host of positive benefits. It restores your immune and endocrine system from the previous day's training. It recovers your nervous system from the metabolic load from the day before and improves memory and learning ability for the following day. Melatonin released when you sleep acts as a antioxidant and neutralizes free radicals which cause cell damage and tissue damage. And androgens and growth hormone released while you're in deep sleep help promote muscle repair, muscle growth, bone growth, and promotes the oxidation of fats. So let's take a look at some of the common sleep questions and the answers. And before we do, don't forget to hit that thumbs up to support the channel, and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any of our other videos. First, what is good sleep? We often think of sleep like a light switch, asleep or awake, on or off. And therefore, when we're trying to improve our sleep or increase our sleep, we simply calculate the time from when we get into bed until we wake up in the morning and try and increase this number. But the reality is sleep happens in many stages. There are five stages of sleep and they each sleep cycle takes about 90 minutes. So is repeated up to six times every night. Stages one to four are referred to as non-REM, with stages three and four the deepest sleep where most growth hormone is released. Following this is stage five, REM or rapid eye movement stage, which is the most active phase of sleep. More REM sleep is associated with enhanced recovery and more optimal wakefulness. Importantly, each time you go through a sleep cycle, the REM stage of the sleep cycle gets longer, which means that most of the REM sleep happens in the latter stages of the night. And this is why it's so important that athletes maximize their sleep duration every night. If you miss sleep at night, can you catch up using naps? You can use naps to catch up on sleep missed at night. But a 30 to 60 minute nap doesn't even consist of one full sleep cycle. So it of course can't replace the hormone release and recovery that you get from a good night's sleep. But napping has shown to improve cognitive processes and motor control. So it does have a positive effect. It is also important to structure napping correctly. Napping should have a controlled duration and be put in the right part of your day to allow enough time 
to prepare for that nap and also to wake fully after the nap. It takes time for your body to wake fully and be ready for further training. Uh, you can preempt this by waking to immediately bright lights and also by taking things like caffeine before you start your nap because it takes 30 to 40 minutes for the caffeine to exert its effect and that will help with wakefulness when you re-wake up. It's also important that you don't have your nap too late in the day because this can lead to poor nighttime sleep which leads to fatigue the next day and more naps which leads to this feedback loop of more sleep during the day and less sleep at night. I'm injured and not training, so therefore I don't need as much sleep. And this is a common mistake that people make. But the reality is when you're injured, sleep is actually the best medicine. Of course, if you're used to completely emptying your tank during the day with vigorous exercise and then collapsing exhausted on your bed at night, it can be pretty hard to fall asleep when you haven't been doing the vigorous exercise. But if you're serious about recovery from your injury and getting back to training, then Paying attention to your sleep hygiene and making sure you're getting as much sleep as possible is the best way to get back to training quickly. So let's take all this information and use it to give you some practical tips to help you sleep better. Mark's here with that. Mark, are you still awake? Uh, yeah, yeah, no, no, I wasn't sleeping. I was, um, I was um, just checking social media, actually. Which actually leads me on to my first tip. Promote melatonin release prior to sleep by reducing light exposure, in particular, blue light exposure. So that means avoiding screens, or at the very least, using screens only with blue light filters prior to sleep. You can also create and stick to some bedtime routines that you follow before bed. This can actually help to wind you down, and also by following these routines, it can actually help to trigger your body to ready for sleep when you get into bed. You should also control your sleeping environment. So a good mattress and bedding, a dark and quiet room, which obviously you can use an eye cover earplugs for, and the right temperature. On that note, the right temperature for sleeper is pretty low because your body can tolerate lower temperatures, but not effectively thermoregulate at warmer temperatures while sleeping. A room temperature below 21 degrees Celsius and as low as 16 degrees Celsius is recommended. And finally, stick to a sleep routine. This means going to bed at the same time and waking up at the same time every day. Yes, every day. That actually can lead to more effective sleep even if the total hours of sleep are slightly lower. But to make this work, you have to stick to it strictly. That means every day, weekends, even public holidays. Just even two days out of the routine can actually affect and reduce the effectiveness of the routine and the quality of sleep. If you can sleep on the weekend, you should try and wake up at this routine time. And then if for whatever reason you feel tired later in the day, you can always pop out for a nap, but you're still keeping that effectiveness of the routine there. Thanks for that, Mark. Sweet dreams. Now, everyone has different sleep requirements and everyone has to fit their sleep around different lifestyles and routines. But the reality is, everyone will benefit from good sleep hygiene and good sleep practices and getting enough sleep particularly athletes. You can sleep yourself faster. Thanks for watching. See you again next time.